Hello and welcome to the show. Today I just wanted to do a little reaction on Ahsoka. I saw that the teaser trailer dropped. I like her. But I want to react to that and then I want to pull up one article and talk about it real quick. Because it doesn't make sense to me. Not the way they're doing it. But we'll get there. Reaction first. To the reaction. Something's coming. Something dark. I sense it. This is a new beginning. Hmm. For some. Okay. More. For others, power. Good callback. It's been a while. For Sabine. Things have changed. I started hearing whispers about Thrawn's return. Heir to the Empire. All right. Before I finish this, hey Disney, you had your chance to do Heir to the Empire, and you know what you did? Force Awakens. Ah. All right. Thrawn might be a bad guy. He's going to be an anti-hero. Watch. Mark my words. He's going to be an anti-hero. And he's going to be someone that's just trying to get back to save his people. Because in the books, which Disney wrote, he's fighting. his people are fighting the Grisk and he's still helping them. Watch. He is not going to be the enemy of this series. Watch. That, that line was thrown in there for bait. We have to prepare for the worst. The Jedi fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. Perhaps it is time to begin again. I don't think it looks terrible. But Disney has has had a run of not not look not doing great with their TV shows cuz I think they're just too short. To make a good series, a good sci-fi series, you need at least at least 10 to 12 episodes. Your your Marvel series, they need to be at least 12. You need character development. Someone like Ahsoka, Sabine, uh, Hera, Chopper. You have four years of cartoon history with them. You have history you can go pull from. Thrawn, you got books. Cartoon you can go pull from. They had their chance to do Heir of the Empire. He's probably going to be an anti-hero watch. There, there were a couple... People in there that I think aren't going to, they're, they're going to be either pulling Thrawn's strings or fighting Thrawn. It, he is not going to be the person you think. In, why would you not show Ezra, but you th show the back of Thrawn? Uh, whatever. Whatever, it's a teaser. Maybe they'll show him later on. I don't think it looks bad. I am intrigued with this series. Now... Something I want to talk about. We are doing a Daisy Ridley. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. In a movie format. 
It's been a while since I counted. My mind is shit, but I'm pretty sure on my bookshelf back here, there are 14 books that explain how Luke rebuilt the Jedi Order. 14 books. And you're going to explain how she did it in Chronicles in a two and a half hour movie? I did look when I first watched The Force Awakens, I didn't think it was a bad movie. I didn't by itself. It was a copy paste movie of A New Hope, but I didn't think it was the worst thing they could have done. The following two movies basically ruined it. But this, this is. No. 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 This is we are replacing Luke with Ray, a Mary Sue, who has never been trained other than three things that Luke did when she wasn't listening anyways on an island when he was a, a, a shut-in. I don't, I don't get this. Make it a TV series. Make it a TV series and spend the time actually showing the Jedi Order being built. Showing her, show her going out and do things. You're going you're gonna to chronicle a new Jedi Order. So she's going to be poop. There they are. And Ray Palpatine's the leader. You know, the granddaughter of the guy that destroyed it. <laughs> this is so stupid. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm kind of in on Ahsoka, but this, this being a movie, a chronicle of her rebuilding the new Jedi Order, just it's gonna fail. I mean, Disney's dead anyways, but this is gonna fail. But that's my my reaction of Ahsoka and my two cents on Daisy Ridley returning and what's gonna fail. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. Till next time. Bye-bye.